Welcome to my podcast. Today I'll be talking about must-own players in fantasy hockey, players to pick up in fantasy football, and players to avoid in fantasy basketball. Must-own players in fantasy hockey. Center, Sean Couturier. Sean Couturier has 9 goals and 18 points so far this season. He is centering the first line of the Flyers and is also playing on the first power play unit. Left winger, Clayton Keller. Clayton Keller can play all three forward positions in fantasy hockey, and he is one of only 5 players in the league that have more than 10 goals. Right winger, Josh Bailey. Josh Bailey has the second most assists in the NHL so far this season. He has 3 goals, 16 points, and 6 power play points so far this season. Defenseman Mikhail Sergeyev. Mikhail Sergeyev should be owned in all leagues. He has 4 goals, 12 points, and 5 power play points so far this season. Defenseman Will Butcher. Will Butcher has been one of the most productive defensemen on the power play in the NHL this season. He has 12 points and 7 of them are on the power play. Goaltender Connor Hellebuck. Connor Hellebuck should be owned in all leagues. He has 7 wins a 2.24 GAA, a .936 save percentage, and one shutout. Next week, I'll be talking about disappointing players in fantasy hockey. Fantasy Football Waiver Wire, players to pick up for Week 10. Quarterback, Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler had his best game of the season in Week 9, throwing for 311 yards and 3 touchdowns. He looks to continue his strong play against the Carolina Panthers in Week 10. Running back, Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake rushed for 69 yards and also had 35 yards receiving in Week 9. He should only continue to get better as he settles into his role as first and second down running back. Running back, Damian Williams. Damian Williams split running back duties with Kenyon Drake and came out of week 9 with 47 yards rushing and one touchdown. Wide receiver, Robert Woods. Robert Woods has 70 yards receiving and two touchdowns in week 9. He looks to continue his strong play against the Houston Texans in week 10. Wide receiver, Marquise Lee. Marquise Lee has 75 yards receiving and one touchdown in week 9. He has a good matchup against the LA Rams in week 10. Tight end, Julius Thomas. Julius Thomas put together one of his best performances in recent memory in Week 9. If you need a tight end in the deep league, he could be an option. Defense, New York Jets defense. New York Jets defense put up 13 fantasy points in Week 9 and have a good matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Week 10. Kicker, Josh Lambeau. Josh Lambeau put up 13 fantasy points in Week 9 and have a good matchup against the Bengals in Week 10. Next week, I'll be talking about players to pick up in fantasy football for Week 11. Players to avoid in fantasy basketball. Point guard, Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is always ranked really high in fantasy basketball for some reason. He is usually drafted around the 3rd or 4th round, which is way too high. Shooting guard, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's production is not going to be as good as in years past because he's playing on a super team. Small forward, Paul George. Paul George is going to struggle at times this season because he's going from the number 1 option on his team to the number 3 option on his team. Power forward, Draymond Green. Draymond Green is going to be the fourth option on a super team, which means he's not going to be a good player to own in fantasy. Center, Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic was drafted in the first round in most leagues, which is way too high for his production. Next week, I'll be talking about players to pick up in fantasy basketball. Next podcast, I'll be talking about disappointing players in fantasy hockey and players to pick up in fantasy football and fantasy basketball.